So many questions after they were forced to evacuate their homes yesterday. A pipeline leaking and hydrous ammonia killed a man after he drove through the toxic vapor. Brandon Scott was at a town hall meeting today aimed at addressing some of those existing concerns. Dozens of people out here are still under evacuation orders with crews working to contain the deadly leak. If they tell me that there's some danger, then I'll get away from it because I know ammonia is dangerous. Mark Kirsten lives just a few hundred yards outside the evacuation zone, so he never left his farm, even though a leaking anhydrous ammonia pipeline a couple miles down the road killed one of his neighbors. I think it's a terrible thing. Despite the tragedy, Kirsten feels safe here. He's counting on the team of pipeline crews and emergency workers to fix the dangerous and deadly leak. And I'm, I just feel like they're probably doing everything they can. What we're doing is, is trying to do our best in a tough situation. In nearby Decatur, during a town hall meeting, officials from the pipeline company expressed remorse and tried to reassure residents. They also tried to answer questions, but couldn't explain what caused the leak, which killed Emmett Hennig's cousin, Philip. I don't doubt that they're terribly sorry. We're all very sorry that it happened. But, you know, let's, don't, let's get things fixed that needs to be fixed. Meanwhile, out on the roads, a caravan of anhydrous ammonia tankers were on standby. Farm supply companies from across the area sent these trucks to help relieve pressure on the leaking pipeline. Everybody wants to help everybody as much as they can and do their parts, and that's what's nice about a small community. Everybody wants to help. That town hall meeting ended just a few hours ago out here, and another question folks had, what about animals left behind during the evacuation? Residents can go back to take care of them, but only for a brief time, and they'll need an escort to go with them who will monitor the air quality. Reporting Indicator with photographer Mike Plews, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.